When we're talking about spin, I always like to start with groove wear. I think this is one we've learned over the last couple of years that we know it's so important to players. Obvious one, maybe, but why is spin so important to your players? Well, spin for my players, for our players, is really control. If you don't have spin, you can't control that golf ball. That's not only down flight on shots inside of 130 yards, but it's also around the greens where you really want to see it stop. You want to know that you can hit it to that spot on the green and know it's going to put on the brakes. So spin for us is extremely important, something that our tour players challenge us on every single line we make as they say, can we get a little more? Can I have a little more? They're not asking for less spin, right? No, they are not. Now, one thing to, to bring up that I think is really important is how do you know what spin is best for you, mm. right? And for our tour players, I'll tell you, I need spin in my 46 through 52, but I really need spin in my 54 through 62. Right. That's really an important place for me to have that spin because as you increase that loft, that ball and that face are not interacting as much as you'd think. And so you do lose some spin from time to time and you do lose that control. So having that spin in your wedge is, is extremely important. How do your players know when it's time to change? Well, there are several ways. The first player is a player who recognizes he sees it in his golf ball, right? Mm. So your golf ball will tell you, it's a very honest, honest part of your game. It'll fly a little higher, it'll carry a little shorter, and it'll spin a little bit less. And you'll see it around the greens. You'll go, gosh, I'm used to seeing it check up a little more. Now our tour players are very, they're very lucky in the sense that they have a, a group of individuals who care for their equipment every single week they mm. come out and play golf. But for players like us who play maybe once a week or once a month, it's just not something we pay attention to. But again, that ball flight is a very honest way to see. Spin decay will present itself. You just got to pay attention to it. The face wear is also a great way. So if you see a marking on the face that's in that sweet spot of grooves two through five, that looks really worn down. It could be sand spray. It could be grooves looking a little wavy. Things like that will, will, will be signs that it might be time to make a change. If you keep track of how many rounds you play, it's usually 75 rounds of practice or indicators. And then the one thing we always tell players, if it's time to change that grip, it's probably time to change that wedge. So, you know, players will bring it in and they'll say, hey, my grip's worn down, I've got a thumb spot. I go, well, you probably need to replace the entire things. Kevin, we do something to make sure that we retain spin for longer. What are we doing? We're still heat treating the face? Mm -hmm. We have a proprietary process that we apply to the face before it's finished. What that's gonna do is provide groove durability twice as much as then without it. So Aaron says we have 75 rounds. If you didn't have the heat treatment, it'd obviously be half that. So it's just giving you more control for longer life. Tell us what we've done with SM9. How have we improved the groove process? So we've changed the groove once again for SM9. It is now going to be even sharper. So what we're gonna give you is more spin for longer, give you more spin, more control. This is gonna translate into a tighter lower window for our players to work through, but also a tighter proximity on those greens, giving them more chances to make more putts. Still checking them all, right? 100% inspection on every groove. We have different grooves for different lofts, and I know we've had that over the years, but I always find it a great reminder. We're a little different when it comes to lower lofts versus the higher lofts. Remind us again what we do there. Yeah, so this really comes down to interaction between ball and face. We've studied it to death, to be honest, because we really want to make sure your 46 through your 54 is a slightly narrower but deeper groove. And that allows you to push more material, more moisture in there. And we have it a little bit narrow because it's more compression on the ball with less loft. So the less loft you have, you can make that a little, little skinnier, but you really want that channel that, of that groove to push debris away. And then as you get into the 56 or 62, that's where we start to see that groove get a little wider mm. and a little shallower. And we really want to take the edge of the groove, the top and the bottom, and we want to expose it to that golf ball cover so that they can grip and become one and create that friction needed. 